Hey everybody, uh, Ruth also Hurick here, welcoming you to the class. Just want to get this out first and foremost. This is a seven week class and it goes pretty darn quick. So you will need to do a lot of work very quickly. You need to stay on target, uh, file management, time management, all those things are going to fall into place with you. This is uh, pretty important to remember. I want to show you the class. First and foremost, this is not a published class and you're looking at it uh, in a faculty view. So this option up at the top will not be there and anything below the chat will not be in your navigation. With that said, you can select this hamburger up here and minimize your course navigation to make the class larger. Uh, this class is also very mobile app friendly, so you can go through it on your mobile app. So let's take a look at what's going on in here. Uh, you're going to start on the Start Here page. The Start Here page will have this welcome video, which you should be looking at, and it will have a few other options. When you see this little Thing looking like this right here when you see something like this that means there is a document available to you you can download the document by selecting the title name or the little arrow or you can view it right there on the screen by selecting the what I call a search option uh, it's a magnifying glass over like a piece of paper and then you can view that option there Second thing I want to show you is, yes, of course, there is a syllabus. Read the syllabus. The next thing I want to show you is the course PDF document, the textbook, so to speak. It is a PDF document. It's about 78 pages long. Um, you will open it up to view it. And here's the cool part. When you get to certain assignments, um, I'll state read pages 55 to something else. You can actually just click in this top place, select the page number, hit enter, bam, you move to that page so you're not scrolling, searching for the page all the time. Uh, it does take a few moments to load, but once it loads, you can start reading that particular component. Also note that in each area is <coughs> A video and you can go to the specific link or you can select the video and it will open up YouTube and play that particular video for you. Next let's go ahead and head over and show you how to submit an assignment. So you'll scroll down, move over to the module 1 area and your first assignment which is due very quickly is read and respond so you'll read the syllabus and you'll respond to it. And what you'll do as a student, let me go ahead and head over into student view so you can see this. My bad. So you will select the read and respond and submit assignment tells you everything important to read this kind of stuff because sometimes most of the time I just ask for a screenshot not a complete assignment just a screenshot or maybe I'll ask for you to write something that's important for you to check it out right here submit the assignment this one is pretty much uh, you can do a text entry or a code embed if you want to if you want to record yourself and send it to me you can do that you can uh, do your text entry you can upload a file whatever you want to do however you want to do it then you submit the assignment good all right let me go ahead and leave student view so that's how you would submit an assignment there is also other assignments within the course and that are that is discussion boards discussion boards are pretty pretty simple to do um, here let's just go over to the question answer discussion board this is a great place if you have a question uh, maybe hop over here and you can ask your question and if you don't have a question hop over here maybe you can answer someone's question you don't have to wait for me to answer a question if you know the answer help your help your colleague out 
So this is where you would ask a question. This is exactly how you use any discussion board. You select reply and you post your information, your information here, and then you select post reply. It's that simple. And then the next person can come along and reply to that. This is how you post an initial post and how do you respond to a classmate. Great, got that covered. Next is this little navigation known as announcements. Announcements are something that I utilize every single week. For you guys, it's gonna come quicker than that. Um, I like to post things that help you with the assignment. When I post, this is what assignment should be done, this is what's coming up next, and then I'll add some things like, hey, this could help you out with your assignment. This is a great place to go for more information. Hey, if you do this, maybe you'll get some extra points. Or I could even say, hey, instead of the assignment that I've offered you, here's something else you could do. Choose which one you want to do. Just let me know. And it's pretty simple. Just check the announcements. Every time you go in the class, just check the announcement. You can tell if it's new or not by whether the title is in bold. If not, open it up and check it out. It's that simple. Grades, I'm not gonna access as the instructor, but uh, let me go back and show you that as a student. When you select grades, your grades will, if right here in this little area, if you've submitted something, it'll show that you've submitted it. If I've graded it, it's going to show you some points. And what you'll do is, um, you know, check that out because I usually write comments within the points. And sometimes I ask questions in those comments just to see if you're reading the uh, comments from the grade. And usually there are things to help you out, you know, help you get going. You see this thing called level up here? It's actually extra credit. Hmm, some of us do offer extra credit. So let me leave that student view. And then you have people. People actually shows you everyone in the class. And since I'm on the people topic, if you go into your account information, you can go into your profile and you can edit your profile settings. And once you edit the profile settings, you can add information that you want people to know about you. Now you can add an image by hovering over and selecting the little change profile pick. Some of my colleagues do not like little avatar images. They want to see the actual picture of a person. I don't care. It's for you to personalize. Whatever you do in this profile is going to follow you in all of your classes. Just know that. You can also set your notifications to email you for due dates, um, course content. If an announcement is set by you, you can set all of these little notifications. All right, let's get back to the course. And I'm going to select courses. You know what? Let me go into dashboards. I want to show you dashboards for a minute. Since we're all, all about Canvas here, you can see all your little Monopoly cards here. These particular Monopoly cards are my templates that I work in when I'm changing things in classes and I want to see how they look. That's why they're all that weird color. But if you come down here to your courses, and this particular one is a seven-week course, and I have it in this wild color here. Ooh, that's real wild. Uh, what I did to name it seven week course instead of this title that comes up is I selected that pencil, gave it a nickname because I have two different, you know, the same class, but one's seven week and one's 15 week. You can also change the color by selecting a color or putting in the hex number right here. Great place to go for hex numbers, 99color.net and 99colors.net. Okay. But uh, they have all these colors here with the hex number. And what's really cool is, is um, when you select the number, they give you other options. And I can tell you that these, these bright colors, the green, the lime green, and the yellow, are a little hard to read. 
And I state that because whatever color you have here is associated in your calendar. See, this is the calendar, and these are your due dates, and it tells you that. So if you get like this yellow, though it looks cool, um, this is kind of hard to read. All right, let's go back in our class. So we've shown you how to submit an assignment, um, how to post in the discussion forum, showed you your grades, talked about your people and your account information. Conference here is uh, an area that you can have synchronous communication. Uh, I will do my best to have that with you on set days. Uh, collaboration is if you want to collaborate with somebody in a Word document. Chat is just that. It's, it's like a chat feature. I'm sure you've seen many, many chat forums. All right. Inbox. Inbox is a great way to communicate with me. I know right here I state you can email me, but the inbox is the best way to communicate with me. In fact, if you don't know how to use that inbox, down here under links, there is a how to use the Canvas inbox. And it takes you to a page created by Suki Waldenberger, who also teaches here at Yavapai College, and it shows you step by step how to use the inbox. This is the best way to communicate with me because I check my inbox every time I log into Canvas, and that's pretty much seven days a week, several times a day. So I check the inbox. All right, let's head back to the class. And I'm gonna select, instead of dashboard, I'm gonna select courses. And your dashboard here shows whatever courses are highlighted for you. So if I go into courses and select all courses, you're gonna see that I have a huge list of courses here. That's a big list. So that little Monopoly page would be crazy if I had all these selected. So what I do is I just star a particular class to show there, or even unstar one to not show there. Let's say I don't want this comparative religion class to show anymore. I select the star, I go back to my dashboard, and it is no longer on the list down here. All right, let's head back into the class. Uh, a few other things you have are quizzes. Um, quizzes are very similar to your assignments. Let's see if module three has a quiz in here. Oh, yes, a practice quiz. You would actually head to the quiz and it'll, it'll ask, what, what do you want to do? And we can take that quiz and the questions will appear and you will select the correct questions. Uh, any practice quiz you can take as many times as you want. Once you have selected all of your questions, um, you submit your quiz. Now I do want to state when you're going to take a quiz, I would highly suggest that you um, log out of Canvas, log out of your Yavapai College site and then log back in. Uh, it's just, you could be timed out. So I'm just saying, that's all I'm saying. Um, so there's the quizzes. I can tell you that some of the quizzes will have this big, huge line here and some will not. Um, I was doing a copy paste thing and you know, you know how that goes. All right, so that's quizzes. Um, I'm thinking uh, you pretty much are good with the course. Anytime you go into a module page or into an assignment, once you submit that assignment, you can actually navigate back to that module or to the home page. That's easy. That's about it. Hey, welcome to the class. Get to work because this is a fast-paced class.